Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create procedural extrusions using the Mo Extrude object. To find the Mo Extrude, just go to the Mo Graph menu, and under Deformers, you'll find the Mo Extrude, and apply it like any other deformer. And this is the default state, where you can see in the Object tab the main parameters, and the Transform mode is set to from root, which is good if you want to extrude using splines, but this is a subject for another tutorial. Set it to per step, which is uh, the most common. And uh, these are the extrusion steps. If you go close, you will see that it will extrude based on this number, one, two, three. And each of these extrudes will have a transform with these values. So this will be spaced five centimeter from the previous extrude, it will have this amount of rotation from the previous extrude, and you can go and twist them around and do all these nice things, or it will have a certain scale as compared to the previous extrude. Now, what I do like about the Mo extrude is that you can go and reset all these, and I'm going to set this to one and one and one. We're going to get these artifacts because we have polygons on top of each other. Don't forget we have three extrudes here, but that's not important. What is important is that you can go to the effectors tab and with a mo extrude selected if you add a plane effector then the plane effector is uh, the object that defines the values so you can use the values of uh, the effector to control how the extrusions are going to occur now what i'm going to do here is go and add a bit of a uniform scale and let me go here and make it minus 0.98 and you can see they get small very quickly. So be quite careful how you make these become smaller or larger. So just go and experiment. I'm going to make it, I think, 0.475 per step is a good amount to create this nice little sea urchin. Now, the great thing is because we're using an effector, you can go to the fields and add a linear field. And now this is what controls the extrusion. And uh, what I like to do, just for fancy reasons, go to the contour mode in the remapping, change this to a curve, go down to the curve, move this over here, control click down here, fix this little point, select all these points, right click and flip vertical. And now I'm going to have this really interesting extruding effect and you can add noises and whatnot but you get a taste of uh, what kind of extrusions you can do with a mo extrude have fun and get creative if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip